Hey, hello everyone, Tanak here. Welcome to episode 38 of Building My Industrial Empire in EVE Online. So we will start with the usual progress report. Uh, you can see that I am now worth 56.7 billion ISK, me and my corp. Uh, so Tanak is 37 billion, Erika is 2.4, uh, Procurement Division is 7.3, and uh, Toy Company is at 9.2. Uh, and Tanak, a big part of that is, uh, however, uh, here, it is the skill point. Uh, if you look at the progression compared to last week, what is happening is since I closed Deep Space, well, uh, I basically, uh, my CEO that I had in Deep Space was now at uh, around 6 million skill points, so I extracted them and injected them to 10x, so he is now worth a little more. Uh, uh, the rest is, well, stuff that I'm building, uh, stuff that I'm building is actually by me. Uh, this little Moras here that, is, that I'm building, I can't fly it, but that's my own little uh, recreational vehicle here that I'm building. Uh, so what else? Uh, okay. If you look at, uh, at the progression, well, you can see that we've started growing again. I did a lot of incursion with Tanak this week just to pad my wallet. Uh, okay, if we go on and fight another war. Uh, what else? Uh, okay, this week we basically finalized the closing of our operation in Charmroute and Ivanger. Uh, so uh, what is happening is we did, uh, we, we unanchored, our, we sold all our tree structure in Ivanger. We unanchored the, uh, the compressor that we had in Charmroute. Uh, it's already been sold. Uh, uh, so that's that's about it for i mean we no longer have any asset in that area aside from me personally i have a few ship there but not nothing i mean we've completely moved to uh, our new location in uh, laurier uh, we what else we sold an obelisk uh, that we manufactured last week so that was a little a chunk of profit for the corp uh, and uh, aside from that military side uh, we did have one of our new one of our one of the structure of the alliance that got attacked by uh, pirates lord of war and deepwater hooligan uh, they reinforce the structure they push it to the last timer and then we uh, we fought them off with the help of some friend do i have the battle report here uh, as you can see well the battle was uh, pretty one-sided where we lost uh, uh, 227 billion and uh, they uh, 227 million and they lost 16 billion so we did uh, uh, we did kill a bunch of people well we we had numbers though so not i'm not dishing on them uh, we had number uh, we we were prepared because we didn't want to lose that structure uh, the next day we had another fight with them which wasn't as one-sided uh, what's happening though is Tanak is getting a little more dangerous and a little more efficient because I got like you know, the kill board is padded with green I'm not flexing my pvp skill I still suck at suck at pvp but I don't suck at, a, at having friend fighting for me <laughs> so so anyway uh that that was that's what happened the other big thing this week though is the announcement for the quantum core uh it is uh raising a lot of question at the alliance level about uh, how we're gonna reduce our structure footprint so we are having discussion with that uh 
so well and and this part is gonna be a little harder for me to announce but this is gonna be the last episode of this series uh, the thing is uh, well first of all I don't I feel that it's getting stagnant uh, I'm not having as much interesting stuff to tell you and part of that is uh, is a bit what's happening when when we join the alliance and I again I don't want to be I don't want to look like a person that that's not grateful for what the opportunity we're having with that alliance I think it is the best move for Guns R Us. It is the best move for the corporation, for the members. Uh, but for me, as a CEO, it is it's it's changing my gameplay too much. And and regular viewer uh, probably heard it uh, like when. They, 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 you you probably saw it in my voice and in the last few episodes uh, which weren't as uh, as engaging I would say as the last one well the thing is as when you're part of the alliance an alliance uh, you really you really share the power you you're not, you and I mean, you're part of a group and you, you more or less uh, align with the group doing your stuff. And well, personally, I was more used in the gun setup to, to call the shot. But at the same time, I know, I mean, even if, though I was, I mean, I defended, well, we defended our structure multiple times uh, again this week always with friends but still we we always manage to pull through but i know that i'm not an experienced ceo and i build a group of 150 people and these guys basically deserve something more organized and more efficient and eve than what i can provide them uh, so for the good of the corp I will be stepping down as CEO. I'm going to transfer my share. I'm going to transfer uh, ownership of the corp, and I'm going to take take a, a little step back so that the guys can actually enjoy something that's a little less crazy because that's what they need in game. That's what the corp need, but at the same time, it's not what I'm personally looking for in the game. Uh, so so I will, I will, I will do a smooth transition of power. Uh, I will pass ownership of the corp, and then decide what I want to do on my side. I, I don't. I probably gonna maybe hang around in BF one monkey for a while. I, I, I don't know. I don't know really because uh, the thing is. Since joining the Alliance, I've lost my drive. I've lost my desire because we are now a structureless, a structureless entity with no skin in the game. Uh, and doing a report week after week of just telling you guys, hey, I'm richer than last week. Uh, maybe some guys lost the ship. Maybe we lost the battle or everything. But Gun's wallet will keep going up. I mean, for the, so there, and telling you week after week, I ran incursion. I did. I I make more money. It's, it's not a. You need to have. You need to want to build something, and as part of the alliance, I I don't feel that I have a skin. I, I that I that I. That I'm building, I mean, I'm helping the Alliance build something. So it's not that I'm not building something, but it's not mine. It's not my thing that I'm building. It's I'm, I'm, for, uh, it's hard to say. It's hard, it's hard to say, but the thing is, it, it just, basically, it kind of killed the drive that I had for the game. So, 
so so that's it that's it i mean i don't have i and again and again it's not that these guys were bad to us or tried to take this i mean it's not no i mean i i got nothing i mean they're super well organized they they have their stuff they they it's great for the member of the corp and so that's why i don't want to pull the corp away from this alliance because it's probably the best thing that happened to them but at the same time for me it's just limiting my my play style too much uh, i mean i can i can probably do more experience more of the stuff in game but it's not it's not necessarily stuff i want to do so that's it i mean uh, it's it's super unscripted what i'm posting now uh, and it's it's not it's not really a rant well no it's not a rant it's not uh it's it's just i mean a corp deserve a ceo that that is there that want to accomplish something that has the drive and well right now i don't have that drive so i cannot push the corp forward i was at the point where i'm i wanted to say okay well what are the objective of guns R Us for the next six months or the next three months and I mean, okay, be better at PvP, progress, make money, all of that. There, look, feel bland to me. It's not the same thing as as when we were anchoring down our own stuff and when we were when we were building our own little Poco Empire. So that's it. That's that's how I feel. So. I guess at this point for for the story of uh, well for the story of Tanak as CEO of Gonzoras it's the end uh, for the story of Tanak as an Eve player I'm not sure and for the story of Gonzoras well they're in good hand right now and I'm gonna make sure that there's a clean transition and that this story can continue so I did I did take. Uh, <laughs> I'm almost crying. <laughs> well, that's it. <laughs>